February today and as you can see it's an absolutely gorgeous day outside it is cold however um, last night we got down to minus three which was a bit of a shock to the system but fortunately I didn't have to go out at the crack of dawn so that was fine um, but we had frost all over the place <laughs> um, and any sort of standing water in buckets that I've got out in the garden was uh, there was a layer of uh, quite a thick layer of, um, of ice on top but sun came out and it's warmed up beautifully and now um, it's about seven degrees but I did pop into the greenhouse earlier this morning and the door had been closed and the sun had been on it and it was actually an awful lot warmer inside the greenhouse than it was outside it was really quite pleasant so um, it's surprising how warm your greenhouse will get when the sun's been shining on it um, so that will help all the seeds to grow even though they might get just a little bit chilly during the night but I don't think we're going to have anything quite so cold um, like that tonight um, it might get down to about freezing but, uh, but nothing quite so chilly uh, but it's warmed up so I'm now in the greenhouse and I've ventured outside and what I'm going to show you today are uh, two varieties of cabbages um, I've got uh, Primo here um, and I've also got from Victoriana I've got sort of um, it's like all year round there's there's a mixture of all sorts of different varieties of cabbage in here um, which is lovely then you don't have to buy all these different seeds you can just buy this one packet um, and it has a bit of everything in there they tend to do this with quite a lot um, of of seeds they d they do it with the tomatoes as well um, which is great because then you'll get all sorts of different varieties just in one packet uh, the primo I've grown before they did absolutely fabulously last year um, you might remember seeing pictures of me uh, I, I tweeted uh, the sides of the sizes of the cabbages and they were the heads of them the the heart the big you know sort of um, a firm bit um, was uh, about the size of a football uh, so they were absolutely fabulous the other thing I'm going to show you how to sow today are my kohlrabi now kohlrabi are very very easy to grow um, they tend to do incredibly well as well there aren't many bugs that will get these you just have to protect them both from the birds okay otherwise they'll uh, they'll start eating all the leaves on the top and uh, these ones I grow these every year and they're called madrava um, and they are really lovely and they're great when you put them in casseroles so let me show you how to sew these okay so here I've got my little tray and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill it practically to the top um, with uh, with just normal multi-purpose compost okay when you've filled it to the nearly to the top just give it a quick level off break up any lumps that you find and then just give it a gentle pat down now before I sow the seeds I'm just going to give the compost a little bit of a water and wait for that water just to soak through. Now, because I've got two different varieties of cabbage here, I'm actually going to sow them in the same tray um, because they're all gonna go out and, and they're gonna go into the same bed together. So I'm not really going to worry about um, separating them out when they're, when they're growing. So these are the seeds. You may well remember that there were some other brassicas that I sowed a little while ago and the seeds were exactly the same okay they're all little round balls so just sprinkle your brassica seeds your cabbage seeds all over the compost now I have to because I've got chickens I have to sow quite a few cabbages because they tend to like the cabbages so um, I'm going to put in more than I normally would okay there we are now you can sow your cabbages February March time okay um, but I'm going to start sowing mine now which is now the middle of February 
um, because I it's actually it's you know we're, we've got nice weather and I think that they'll be okay in the greenhouse they'll have a little propagator lid on them um, so that'll protect them from any frost that we have and uh, hopefully they'll grow really really well now when you've put your seeds on all you need to do is to just cover them just with a little bit more multi-purpose compost not too much okay don't pat that down just leave it loose like that and I'll uh, leave those on this tray I'll um, add another tray to it here uh, and then I'll put a propagator lid on the top but let's now sow the kohlrabi now kohlrabi is sown in exactly the same way as uh, the cabbages um, kohlrabi comes in two different colours it comes in the purple which is the the one that I'm going to sow today or you can get um, sort of it's a very light green color sometimes you can get a packet which actually has mixed ones in it uh, kohlrabi it it looks quite bizarre um, and it tastes really really lovely it tastes it tastes very very green um, and very very fresh uh, it tends to grow quite quickly um, you need to sow, kohl oh, sow kohlrabi uh, mainly in February but you can do it in early March um, possibly early April it depends where you live um, but it will grow quite quickly and it will usually be about the first one that's uh, that's ready to harvest you'll be harvesting it possibly July time now I'm going to sow all of these because I do like them and as you can see these are brassicas as well so they're classed under the brassica umbrella so all the seeds are exactly the same as the the cabbage ones okay when they come through they do look the same so it's very very important that you label them otherwise you won't know which ones are which <laughs> okay now just um, sprinkle these seeds on the top of the compost and again just cover with a little bit of uh, multi-purpose compost as we did before level it off and that's those ready okay right well that's those done the cabbages are in this little tray here the kohlrabi are in that little tray there um, I will leave these in the greenhouse you don't need a heated greenhouse for them they will grow absolutely fine um, with without the heat uh, extra heat in the greenhouse just heat from uh, from the outside from the Sun I will put a propagator lid over the top of those and hopefully they should be up in about two to three weeks they should start to poke through the soil but again I will keep you updated on their progress and when they do start um, to pop through the soil then I'll take a picture um, and I will stick it um, on my blog uh, and then or if you follow me on Facebook then you'll see it on there as well okay so that's cabbages and that's kohlrabi I hope you found that interesting and I look forward to seeing you soon bye bye